Pledge of Allegiance. Sure. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one of the nation, under my God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Amen. Call the meeting to order. Uh, Commissioner Kraus? Present. Commissioner Simmons? Present. And Commissioner Matsky? Present. We have a quorum. I make a motion to approve the meeting or the uh, minutes of the uh, October meeting. Second. All in favor? Uh, aye. 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 None opposed? Okay. Under old business uh, applicants and process, Bruce, I'll, uh, I'll let you handle that one. Uh, yesterday, the uh, pension board had a meeting. Greg, yes. uh, approved six, right? Mm -hmm. Six, and uh, pension board secretary Havlin will be sending. <coughs> excuse me, the, <coughs> excuse me, those packets to perf so they can get into the system, and then a higher date. The chiefs will set a higher date for them, and we have three more which I have to submit to secretary Havlin for uh, the perf physical and psychological evaluation that would be done today or tomorrow so you can get three more done. And then we're going to have to set a testing date because that's not going to fill the gap. So currently, Chief, how many openings do you know? We're at 71 officers right now. Okay. So that's just 13? 13. 13. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I know we had uh, two applicants that were uh, finished with the background, being ready to move to Perth, uh, drop out. So theoretically, we would have had 11 mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. for you, but unfortunately, it looks like we might have just nine, but that's uh, better than zero. <laughs> um, and you got uh, three graduates from the academy Friday. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. And uh, they should be seem to done pretty well from what I, mm -hmm. their reports and what training said. So that's good. And hopefully the other six are ready to go. <laughs> Let's hope so. So that's Abraham. You folks need him. That's Abraham Fletcher and Hernandez will be uh, graduating soon. Yes. Um, Friday. Officer Brockmore, who's still under uh, uh, the probation period, looks like he's uh, on his own now and mm -hmm. continuing to excel, no problems with him. And uh, then Officer Ebert, um, I see she's out of the uh, initial training with the Division of Professional Standards and she's assigned to shift three right now, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, she's assigned mm -hmm. to okay. She is scheduled for uh, the academy, I think the 10th. 10th of January, I think that may be her, is that the physical fitness part of it? Is that the yeah. testing? So that's when she's slotted for the academy and the others, we can't, or not we, but uh, Division of Professional Standards can't slot them or apply for positions until they have a PE number. So once they get hired, then they'll get them in there. So. Um. Not aware of any new correspondences that need to be discussed. Um, Commissioner Simmons, are there any claims that outstanding claims that need to be paid? Not at this time, no. Okay. She can't be on the floor. Okay. Uh, just a couple things I'll go over briefly. Um, good afternoon, everyone. First of all, um, we went through uh, uh, our, some of our um, supervisors and the administrative team we went through an officer involved shooting training uh, where we sat together and, and viewed uh, um, some of the latest training. And then afterward, we had Al Williamson come in and talk about uh, some of the state police policies and procedures because if that ever happened here, um, he would, the state police would come in and um, basically oversee that process. Um, our goal now is to, after receiving this training, to go back and look at our policy compared to what the state police policy is, look at it, see if we can make some changes. And then the same training 
that we went through, we want to filter that down to our supervisors uh, with the goal of implementing it into supervisors' training on a yearly basis. So I think that that's a good thing, you know, in the day and age we live in, it's just good to have everybody up to speed on par and really know what they need to do if something like that would occur for us. Um, really happy with um, some of our patrols here lately. Um, with all that has happened this year, we really, over the last month and a half, two months, really pushed back against crime. Um, we've had visibility patrols, we're having holiday patrols coming up, and uh, some business checks, and Chief Corley has been very diligent in making sure that uh, we are doing traffic on our major corridors, uh, Franklin Street, Michigan Boulevard, and also with the, we know the holiday season brings a lot of uh, people looking to take merchandise that doesn't belong to them. So the implementation of business checks in the South and the Lighthouse Mall area have been put in place. Um, I know there's a lot on social media about some threats at Michigan City High School. Someone has written uh, some things on a bathroom wall and whether it's real or perceived, we take every threat um, very seriously and just want the public to know that we are working diligently with the Michigan City area schools to keep our schools safe. Uh, those type of things happen, you know, several times a year, but you always have to take them serious. But we're doing everything that we can to put uh, things in place to make sure that the staff and school are, are safe there. Um, also happy to talk about our Bridge to Manhood program. Uh, we were funded for two more sessions, which will be December 4th and 11th, and uh, we're going to have some of the city's juveniles. Uh, we're opening it up a bit more and uh, we're going to impact them that way. And I think one of the interesting sessions that we do is that we, um, last time we had police officers there and, and uh, young students, and we did some role playing uh, as far as what happens in a traffic stop, interaction, interactions with police. And it's a great learning experience for both police and the young men that we're dealing with. And uh, I think it's a positive experience, and so we're going to implement that again. As we talked about earlier, uh, graduation uh, will be this Friday, November 12th, and we'll be attending that, Chief Corley and myself. And also, uh, we're also happy to announce that the Boat for the Heart was very, very successful. Um, that was on October 31st. We had over 400 participants there, and that ended up with us obtaining 69 AEDs. Our goal was 81, which was pretty lofty, but we ended up with 69, and so we were well on our goals. And the, the event was very good because it brought together uh, different first responders, uh, members of the community, and uh, we were able to interact effectively. And it was just that the energy there was unbelievable. It was just a very good time. We actually had participants from our department who ran, and some of the out outfits they wore were outlandish, but there was a good spirit in the community. We really, really had a great time, and it was just a good event. And uh, we're very thankful for the organizers of Both for the Heart and the job that they did. So I don't have anything else. Um, I, I do have one question. I, how, I understand you guys had a, uh, a Citizens Police Academy recently as well? Yes, it's still ongoing. Is it so long? Still ongoing. Good, good. And they'll be graduating here soon. Good. So, and yeah, they, they uh, Sergeant Forker and um, King do a really good job with that. Um, and, and they do eat well. <laughs> they have spread. <laughs> I, I, I understand well as well attended because they, they, they cut no corners and it's just a good time. It's it's great for us. I actually was there at the last one and had an opportunity to talk. And it's good for citizens to actually be able to see what we do and it changes their perspectives. And then one of the things that I challenge them is whenever you see these false narratives created that you advocate for us because of what you know and understand. They went through Vertra uh, uh, recently and being put in positions uh, as uh, you well know and those split second situations where you have to make decisions, it really changed their perspective on what we had to do with it and, and it's very, very effective. So we're grateful for the job that they're doing. They're doing a really good job. Awesome. Chief Ashley? Nothing, thank you. Nothing, today? okay. Chief Corley. So I wanted to congratulate uh, Sergeant <coughs> Kaplan on receiving on completing 30 years of service here at the Michigan City Police Department. Uh, November 4th was his 30 year anniversary and then also want to pre-congratulate um, Corporal Krause and Officer Hender, Charles Henderson, they will complete 25 years tomorrow, October, I mean, November 11th. So. Damn. <laughs> <laughs>
Bruce? Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Like Chief Corley said, uh, Corporal Krause and Officer Henderson, can't believe it's been 25 years. I do have a picture when they were sworn in. They look a little different. Huh? <laughs> Pop that up by so find a website here. And uh, congratulations. Just want to, or I want to thank all the men and women of the police department from the chief the administration down it done a heck of a job this year the last couple of years hopefully you'll be will be rewarded with a good contract but that remains to be seen keep up the good work and hopefully we can get you some get you fully staffed within the i hate saying this but within the next year but it does take time appreciate all you're doing so for me as far as staffing goes uh I, I have spoken with a member of the uh, contract negotiation team and, and I'm hoping that what I was told as far as lateral transfers and, and that being worked into this year's contract with the city uh, goes through because that will make things a lot easier on us. Um, once, if that does go through, then we'll have to do some uh, some changing of our rules and obviously of our hiring procedures for officers from other agencies for lateral transfers, but we'll get that worked out. We'll obviously work with the administration on that. Um, I don't really have anything else other than that. Uh, I know that uh, Attorney Watterson got stuck in court today, so he couldn't be here. Um, I see only one member of the uh, FOP here, and he's made it clear that he doesn't want to say anything, so <laughs> we don't have any comments from him, from the public. Thank you, Commissioner Mass. I don't know if you want, want me to officially go over. This is from Sergeant Forker. I know you guys kind of touched it, but if not. Yeah, I, th I think we mentioned everything in there, but uh, by name, and, yeah, specifically by name, too. So. Um, so our next meeting will be December the 8th uh, here in this room at 11 a.m. And uh, I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Okay, see everybody next month. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.